Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the price field options for the advanced search. You will have four options for the price field. You can set the price field as a fill-in field. You will have the option to set a price slider. You will have the option to set the price field as drop-down with fill-in options and a price slider. And you will have the option to set the price field as drop-down. I will explain how to set the price field for the search that is set from Team Options and for the search created with the Search Form Builder widget for Elementor. I will start with the settings that you can make in Team Options. For that, I will need to go to VP Residence Options. The settings for the advanced search can be found in Search section and the settings for the advanced search fields can be found in Advanced Search Form. First, I will show how to set the price field as a fill-in field. You will need to scroll down to the section where the fields can be added to the search. This is the one. And here you will need to select as search field the property price. You will need to set the compare term depending on how you need the results to be returned. If you set equal then the results will have the price that the user will type in the search. If you set greater then the results will contain properties with price equal and greater than the value that the user typed. And if you set smaller then the results will be equal and smaller than the value that the user typed. I will leave it set to equal and here you will need to add the label that will be seen on front end. For the field to be a fill in one you will need to disable the price slider. You will need to make sure that the option for price slider is disabled. Currently I have the search type 6 selected. To show the option for price slider I will need to select the type 1. I will scroll down and here you will have show slider for price. This needs to be set to no. I will save the change that I made. On front end, the price field will be a fill in one and the user will need to type the price. Going back to team options, next I will show how to set the price as price slider. You will have different options depending on the search type. For search types that will not have tabs like search type 1, 3, 4, 5, 10 and 11, you will have different options to add minimum and maximum price values than the ones that have tabs. First, I will select search type 1 and I will show how to set price slider for search forms that do not have tabs. Scrolling down, you'll have this option, show slider for price. This option needs to be set to yes. And here, you will need to add the minimum value for price slider and the maximum value for price slider. The values added here will show as price range. I will save the changes. And now on front end, you will see the price range here with the values added in team options. Going back, if you select a search form with tabs like search type 6, I will also save changes. The price range values will need to be set for each category. So I will scroll down and here you will have the option to add minimum and maximum values for price for each category in tabs. If the price slider option is enabled, then in the search fields section, you will need to have the property price field with equal as compare term. I will save changes. And now on front end, you'll have a price slider for each category with different prices per category. Going back to team options, next I will show how to set the price field as a drop down with fill in and price slider options. For that, I will need to change the price field type. So I will scroll down and I will select here the property price version 2. For the search types that use tabs, you will need to do the same for each category if you want to have the same options. So I will do the same for all and I will save changes. Now on front end, the price field will have an option to input price and an option for price slider. You'll have two buttons, reset if you want to reset the option added and done when you added the correct details. And the last option for the price field is drop down. For that, you will need to set the price field to property price version three. I will save changes. And above, you'll have the option to set the values for each drop down. Since I have selected a search that will work with tabs, you'll have the option to set the price drop down minimum values for each category and the same for the maximum values. You can set here the options 
that you want to show and on front end for the price field you'll have this drop down and you'll have as minimum and maximum values the options that you added in admin all the settings made in team options for the price will apply for the team advanced search the ones that are displayed over the team headers also the settings will apply in half map filter section and in advanced search shortcode and widget on sidebar these are the options for the search from team options next i will show how to manage the price options for the search created with the search form builder i have here a page where we use the search form builder to create the search first i will edit the page with elementor you'll have the same options available for the price field to have a price field as fill in or price slider you will need to select the price field here if in team options you will have the price slider option enabled then you will have the price slider in the search and here you will need to set the minimum and maximum price the options in team options for the values for price will not apply so now i have the option for price slider enabled from team options and if i save the changes made in the search my price field will be a price slider. i will go to team options and disable the option for price slider will set it to no and save changes and now i will have a fill in price going back to elementor editor i will select the price version 2 i will save changes on front end i will have a price field with fill in options and with a price slider going back to elementor editor i will select the price version 3 the options for the drop down minimum and maximum price will need to be set here i will save changes and on front end i will have now the price field as drop down with the values that i added in the field these are the options available for the price field in the advanced search from team options and for the search form builder for elementor this wraps our video thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to get instant notifications on new videos